We literally gained 80,000 followers in the span of about two weeks by using Instagram Reels. Today, I am going to tell you how we did that and reveal my secrets to how to grow your Instagram like crazy, all because of Reels. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are new, we post videos about growing on social media, taking care of your pets, a lot of corgi content. My corgi is famous on social media, so I am the manager of her account and I am sharing my knowledge with you today. Instagram Reels have literally been a game changer for me. If you are not using Reels right now, what are you doing? Reels are basically Instagram's answer to TikTok. They are trying to bring what TikTok is doing over onto their app. And this allows so many more people to find your content because Instagram is just pushing your Reels out to users who do not follow you. The Instagram algorithm for Reels right now is just insane. So many small accounts and even larger accounts like mine are just blowing up. So if you're not using them yet, you should be. If you wanna grow on Instagram, Reels is the answer. I felt as though I was stuck at a certain number. We actually got to 100,000 followers at the end of the year, and then it just completely stopped. I was getting so frustrated. I was getting really into TikTok because the growth there is great and the potential for having a larger account is really there on TikTok, but it wasn't there on Instagram. Then once Instagram started pushing reels and I started posting reels consistently, I saw an enormous amount of growth and I noticed a lot of other smaller accounts growing like crazy from reels as well. Basically one of our reels went viral and we were getting like 10,000 followers a day. It was insane and super fun and I'm going to teach you how you can do that as well. First, if you do not know how to use reels or you have not made one yet, it's just pretty simple. You go to your account, click the plus sign in the upper right hand corner and then you can click on the tab Reels, you can shoot video in the app or you can upload video from your camera roll already. You can then add music to that video. You can choose how long you want it to be. Our Reels actually just went up to 60 seconds, which is super exciting. Then you just post onto your account and Instagram will push it out to other accounts and it will help you grow. Instagram is really pushing reels right now and the trends that they're seeing on Instagram reels. So what you want to do is kind of do your research, look through other Instagram reels, see what other accounts are doing and get ideas based on those. There's actually an account called creators. It's an Instagram account and they post the trends, the trending music, and basically are there to help you create good reels that the algorithm is actually going to pick up on. What I like to do is spend some time going through Reels and TikTok. I save videos that I think I could possibly recreate. And then I also keep a notepad using just the notes on my phone, keep notes of sounds that I wanna use, keep notes of different ideas, and also I'll write little scripts and shooting ideas down on my notepad as well. I think there are a lot more trends that are starting over on TikTok and then coming over to the Instagram app. Instagram is a little late behind those trends, but if I were you, I would be on TikTok looking for content ideas and getting those from that app and then moving them over into Instagram. But we like to go on with the trends and convert those over to our niches, but I've also found that creating original content and educational content has been really big for our account as well. Sometimes we just like to tell a story, a story about Willow's day or something that Willow did, and those do really well on both Instagram and TikTok. We also have done a couple of educational series, for example, Weird things corgis do. I split that into multiple parts that span, you know, 30 second videos and also reasons why you should get a corgi, reasons why you shouldn't get a corgi. Those types of content are really helpful. People want to watch them and share them and save them. So that kind of content is always a great idea to generate views and followers. Another content idea, especially if you are in the pet niche, is just to talk about your love for your dog. I had this video talking about how dogs had a best friend or one person that they loved the most. That video did really well. Also, I did a voiceover on the app and then added a little bit of background music and it just like was a perfect combination of pulling on your heartstrings and informational. So if you have any ideas like that, totally post them. Um, put them in your notes and create them. Another trend that we were able to get a, quite a lot of views for, um, I converted this trend that was on TikTok. It was put this sound over the most recent video of your boyfriend or husband or something like that. And then the sound was all dramatic and the video was supposed to be funny. 
or sarcastic and I used that sound but said put the sound over the last video of your dog. So that is how we converted that trend over into our niche and it was just a really funny serious video of Willow and it actually did really well on both TikTok and Instagram. <laughs> a lot of other people were starting to jump on that trend as well. So that was really awesome. You can see here on my feed, we have been getting some crazy numbers on our reels. For example, this one had 1 million views. This was my first video to have a million views and then 125,000 likes, which is crazy. And then I just kept posting off of that momentum. I tried to post, you know, every other day, once a day, if possible, I know that's a lot, but then I just started getting 1 million views again here. Um, 2 million views here, 3 million views here, and then our video that I would say went viral and got us the most amount of followers was this video, Why Willow House While She Eats, and that was 9 million views, which it's still, it's still getting views, which is so crazy. Um, another informational video that it got, that got a bunch of views is How I Flew With Willow on Southwest, so that got a million views. So informational and original content is definitely doing the best for me. So that's what I would suggest trying to create your own original content and not just copying what everybody else is doing. Another thing that really helps your reach and discoverability is the sounds that you use. There's actually, I mentioned it earlier, but if you go to the Instagram creators account, they have highlights saved on their feed. One of their highlights is called Instagram anthems. And that one basically has the trending songs that they are looking for creators to use. Um, and I would definitely suggest using those sounds in your reels if possible. Another thing that will help your visibility and will help keep people engaged with your content is putting captions over your videos. If you're a smaller account, I would definitely recommend putting captions in the Instagram app. This helps the algorithm understand what your video is about and push it out to more people who will like your content. I use this app called Mixed Captions, which is actually on my phone and this automatically generates captions and I can go in and edit the captions because Willow is always spelt wrong and also Howl, Howl is always changed into a different word. So I'll have to go through and edit the captions a little bit, but this does save me a ton of time. Another thing I do for captions, which may help is I write the scripts beforehand in the notes in my phone. So then after I've recorded the voiceover, I can just copy parts of the script and paste it over onto my video and that is how I did a lot of my informational videos and that helps tremendously. I always recommend when you post your Reels video to add it to your Instagram grid as well. I've noticed that when I do not add to my Instagram grid, it takes such a long time for the Instagram algorithm to pick up the video. I currently have a video that I posted and I'm just doing an experiment here. I did not post it to my feed, I just posted it to Reels and it only has 900 views right now. Whereas typically if I would have shared it to my feed and my followers would have seen it first, it would have gotten like 20,000 views. Now, when you're posting it to your grid, you're gonna to wanna to make sure all the most important parts of the video are in the view of the Instagram grid because reels are taller and grid videos are shorter. So you wanna make sure that text isn't cut off or important parts of your videos are not cut off. And you can do this by actually up in the Instagram app and looking at it as if you're going to post it to your feed and then you'll be able to see if anything is cut off. Also, I just recommend kind of lowering the text or raising it up a little bit just so that it's not cut off at all. You're also going to notice that when you're looking at the reels in the app, that there is your profile photo, the share icons, and then your caption. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure all of the important content is above that. So don't put it too low on your screen. I would put it up about an inch high um, off of the bottom of your screen, just so that everybody can see what you're saying, nothing's cut off, and you don't look dumb for you know having all of your text behind your actual caption on your video. Another really cool feature that Reels has that TikTok, for example, doesn't have is you can upload a cover photo for your Reels content. So when you go to the last step before, your po before you post your Reels, you can go to the cover photo and you can select something from your video. But what I would recommend is creating your own cover photo. A lot of times it will just be an edited version of a still that is in my video. But I also go into canva.com, 
you can search reels and there it gives you a bunch of examples of reels cover photos that you can create. Canva is totally free, so I definitely recommend that. It just makes it easier for anybody who is like creeping on your profile. If they start looking through your reels and they just see a bunch of stills from your video, they're not going to know what these videos are about. So if you could put like a catchy headline or some way that you're going to grab attention or tell somebody what your video is about on your cover, then they're more likely to go in and watch it. Now, one of the last tips I have for you on posting reels is to post consistently. One of the biggest tips I have for posting to Instagram reels is doing it consistently. Instagram says that they really pick up on the people's accounts that are posting two to three times a week. But what I did when my reels went viral is I made an effort to post a reel every single day. And sometimes I did miss a day and that was still fine. But making that effort to create content and post a video every single day to Instagram reels just increases your chance for your video to go viral and for more and more people to see your account, find you, follow you, and lead to this crazy growth that you could be getting right now using Reels. Now you're probably thinking, how the heck am I supposed to keep up on posting to my feed every single day, posting a Reels three times a week, and sharing my life via stories just so Instagram likes my account and shares it with the algorithm? Well, my advice to you would be to solely focus on reels. You can post your reels to your feed and your story so that people are still keeping up with you and seeing what you're doing. The reels is gonna account for your in-feed post and your story for the day and, you know, kill two birds with one stone. What I have realized in the past few months is that video content is king. And that has been hard for me because I love photography, but if you really want to grow and keep up with the times, create as much video content as you can and share it every single day. Instead of just sharing something that happened during the day to your story, think about whether or not that would work for Instagram Reels because a lot of the time it probably would. I actually wanna challenge you to post a Reels every single day for two weeks and see how it goes. Let me know in the comments whether you got a bunch of views, whether you gained any followers, and if it even worked at all because I am super curious. I do have a larger account but I know that this strategy would also work for small accounts. Like I said before, Instagram Reels is the key right now to growth. Instagram is pushing Reels so hard because it's new and they're trying to beat out TikTok, honestly. So just use Reels, create original content, talk about things that are informational, stick to your niche, and just get a bunch of followers and kill it. Now my last tip before I sign off, I just wanna say that I know Instagram does not like when you upload something with the TikTok watermark. So some people are turning away from repurposing their content. If you are on TikTok and creating content, you should be posting that content to Instagram and even YouTube shorts. If you're on YouTube and trying to grow your YouTube account, all of this content can work for every single social media platform. I honestly will create all of my videos in an app on my phone or on my computer. I add the captions and mix captions and then I upload it to the app and then add music over that. But I also have a way if you create a video in the TikTok app, how to download without the watermark. It is actually a website that you can access on your phone. It's called Musical.ly Down and I will walk you through the steps of downloading it very quickly. You're going to want to go to TikTok and pull up the video you want to save. Copy the link and then go over to musical.down.com put in the link into the website and then click download. Then your video should show up like this. You're gonna scroll down and press download MP4 now. And you see the little arrow in the upper right hand corner. That is where the video is actually gonna save. So you're gonna wanna wait till like it's done moving, click on the arrow and then click and save the video to your phone. And then you can post it on Instagram. Of course, you should also still be using hashtags you know, to 10 to 15 hashtags that really fit your niche, go ahead and post those in the comments or in the caption. I hope this video was helpful. I kind of went through quickly the reasons why you should be using Reels. We didn't really cover the nitty gritty of how to actually post a Reel or create a Reel. Maybe that'll be next if you guys are interested, just let me know in the comments. I'm so grateful for anyone who watched this video. Thank you so much. I'm trying so hard now to grow my YouTube channel and this is something that is new to me and not something that I have worked very hard on and this year I'm really focusing on it. So if you're not subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe. Let me know what kind of video content you want to see. I will create anything that you guys ask for. So just let me know. I love to post stuff about my life and my corgi. 
we do vlogs, we do funny videos, we do quirky informational videos, pet informational videos, and most of all, social media growth. So let me know what you want to see, like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.